um, who teaches U.S. history at Hightower and he's from Lake Charles, Louisiana. He earned his associate's degree in instrumentation technology, associate's degree in electronic technology, bachelor's of science in secondary education, all from McNeese State University. He will receive a master's in education in, in education administration from Lamar University in July. He's a member of the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. He entered the U.S. Navy in September of 1991. He attended boot camp in San Diego and was stationed in Yokosuka, Japan on board the USS Independence. He was discharged honorably in April of 1995 as a boatswain's boat mate, third class petty officer. His tours included two Western Pacific Indian Ocean tour cruises, two Persian Gulf tours, rim, a one rim of Pacific cruise, one battle of Coral Sea celebration, and he has received an accommodation medal for all of them. So without further ado, can we welcome Mr. Theory on the podium with a great round of applause. Our Navy, our Navy-wide inspections, and 
time after time I was called upon to put on an inspection uh, to prove that uh, we could get this special evolution uh, accomplished from uh, personnel high lines hooking up with another ship and, and sending uh, people over uh, the, uh, the water to connecting the other ships and getting fuel in, in record time and um, dropping the anchor in, in, um, in, in Thailand. And so I had a lot of it, uh, ex a lot of time to uh, excel while I was in the Navy. And I took advantage of it. And, and yes, I walked around the ship often with my head way up like I couldn't be touched. And that's a lot when you're on the ship of 5,000 uh, individuals. But one of the reasons why I had to have that discipline and confidence was because I had to develop a, a strong sense of courage. And that was my third, uh, I guess, foundation when I got to put on that uniform. And out of courage, which you can't have unless there is some sense of fear. And I often was alone, thousands of miles away from home, 18 years old, 19 years old, 20 years old, no Christmas with the family, no Thanksgiving with the family. Letters from home were far, far between, especially when you're out to sea, it gets real lonely. And some of my students got a test to me. I, I often got dealt with by my girlfriends, and so I didn't get many letters from them. Uh, so I was, so you, you have this sense of fear from just being alone, and also fear from maybe never making it um, uh, back alive in time. And so my biggest fear was and what I bring to the classroom is this sense of failure. And that's one of the things I try to uh, bring across to my students is having a sense of failure. One of the reasons why I go so hard in the classroom is because this sense of failure. One of the things that I had to overcome in the Navy was a sense of failure. And with that brought about an enormous amount of courage. And any teacher can attest that just wake up in the morning and going into the classroom, you need to have uh, an enormous amount of courage to deal with the day-to-day -day grind of being an educator. But you also have this great fulfillment at the end of the day, at the end of the week, end of the month, end of the school year, uh, especially uh, when you're preparing kids to take a state exam or an AP exam and they come back with bright faces, smiling and saying, I passed. I aced it. You didn't think I could do it? Yes, I did. Because I had that type of confidence in you. And I tried to instill some type of discipline leading up to it. And you obviously showed a tremendous amount of courage coming into my class every day. So when you put on that uniform, make sure you have those things that I hold true dear to me, whether you don't, you don't wear it when you leave uh, from high school or you wear it, uh, you get some ROTC program in, in college or uh, an officer's candidate uh, program uh, in, in whatever branch of service you venture to. Remember, have discipline, be confident, and be courageous. Thank you for having me. And